kidding. Like, like you guys would have been able to tell me anyway. Uh, let's see here. And I'll actually keep these sticks with me, because I may or may not need to make a new tool shortly. I don't know. It's up for debate, but we'll see. I'm actually just going to craft all this down into actual wood. Because I don't quite frankly need to have actual wood right now. So we'll just do this, we'll do that, we'll do that. Maybe put a ladder like right here. That, that would work. That would probably work. And then probably have a chest like right there, right there, right there. Like I said, I'm obviously going to have to do some renovating later on in the future when I actually have the resources and the the time to really do it. Well, it's not like I don't have any time right now. It's just that I don't really have the resources or anything of the such. And I don't really want to take too much time on just building this. Because, like I keep saying over and over and over and over, I just want a place to store some crap. <laughs> and I think I'll place some of these extra torches all over the place. Okay, that will be good there. Okay, nothing should spawn in there. I'm just going to place torches around here just so that no crap spawns up here later in the future. There we go. I do maybe want to flatten that out eventually, but that's for another day. This crap I'll need to flatten out. I'll probably do that on my own time. And gathering resources, I'll be sure to try and do that on my own time as well, because, quite frankly... I keep forgetting I don't have any wood in that chest. Quite frankly, it's a little time-consuming and a little bit of a waste of time. Unless you guys don't mind me just gathering some of the stuff on cam. Otherwise, I'm, I don't really want to gather the majority of this stuff on the video, because then it feels as if I didn't accomplish anything at all. Because I've done that a bunch of times already in mo many of my episodes. I was going to originally do something, and it ends up taking freaking forever. And based on how long it's been day so far... Uh, I'd say we're getting, I'm getting pretty close to like uh, one video already because yeah I would say it's been a little over 10 like it's been over 10 minutes might be going for 15 so it's a good decently length video I think I'll do two separate videos in this session just cause why not I'm just gonna quickly chop down these trees and I know probably could get like a 10 Timber mod or something like that. Whatever the new newer mod of that, where you could just chop the bottom log and the whole entire tree just collapses. I know there's a plugin where you don't even require to download a mod, but like, I regardless, I need one. <laughs> it would make this so much quicker. I don't care if it takes out the majority durability of my axe. It's kind of the cost of instantly cutting down a tree anyway, and it's not like you lose the durability cutting down the tree manually, anyhow. So, it'd be perfectly fine for me. I also really need to look up how to uh, install mods again, because if I do get further on or whatever, I might actually install mods. As well, the problem is, when I get a new computer, unless I zip this uh, the file to this map, or world, on a uh, and put it, upload it onto like Mediafire or whatever, or put it on like a hard drive, external hard drive or something, and just pour it over. Uh, unless I do that, I'm going to lose all the progress on this world, and thus, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that. I will have to do that, and I'll have to be able to try and unzip it, and then insert the world into the file, or not the file, yeah, in the file or whatever, wherever it would be lo should be located, and yeah, be good to go. I should have enough wood to maybe get, like, the bare minimal, minimal bit of the structure completed, so that I can actually finally start moving some crap in. I'll probably do that uh, on my own, because obviously, who the hell would like to watch me just take crap from my house and shove it in here for a whole entire episode? Who would want to watch that? I know I w really wouldn't really care, but unless I was really bored and I had nothing better to do, I might, but tch, I wouldn't. So let's see here. Give me the wooden planks. And we'll put those there.
I'm thinking maybe having the balcony only go this far. Like, yeah, like this far. So yeah, this is going to be the crammed version of what I'm thinking. But like I said, it's very difficult to kind of replicate it, especially with the amount of space I have up here on this mesa, because I do want to fit like a whole entire town, a legitimate town on top of this mesa. Although, like I said, the fallback plan, or my original idea, was to just uh, have a bridge go to another mesa, and then just continue building on that other mesa, and... Yeah, have a bridge going across. It'd be great. Like, the idea's in my head. I just hope I can make it happen. But, uh, that's... That's not a huge deal at the moment. Uh, do that. And we do this. Do this. This. And... I... I think that should be good with the wooden logs themselves. So now just place the rest of this, these wooden planks. And we should have ourselves a roofless warehouse, or at least a majority bit. Uh, should I keep that there? Yeah, why not? So we'll just do this, and we'll just fill in some windows, because I'd like. I honestly would like to have some windows, because, like, who the hell would not want to have, just, who would want to just stare at, like, interior, no windows, no life whatsoever in the building, etc., etc. And I'm on wooden planks. That's not good at all. Okay. I'm going to need to get me some more wood. Luckily, I ha there's a, been a crap ton of trees up here, and I've been kind of multiplying them over time, replanting them and all that. So it's been pretty good. Yeah, this is definitely going to be two parts. And I'm going to have to fill up the log at the end of the session because that that was the original intention and it never really happened because, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I kind of me messed up the first time and I didn't officially start writing this log until the last ep uh, episode 8. I was about to say the last episode, but... I'm trying to think in term thinking of terminologies of sessions. So yeah, I guess I would just say the previous session. And I want to keep the apple because I don't want to place these torches here. Come on. Use your head, damn it. <laughs> anyway. Uh let's see here. Put a torch. Right there. Right there. Like I said, I think I'll keep the same design for now. Until I get more resources. And besides, I got... Like, cobblestone's not an issue. I, I could build, I'll probably build this, every build... I could build that whole entire building out of cobblestone without running out of cobblestone. Well, I might have run out, but I wouldn't be worried about running out or worried about using too much for the project. Because, like I said, I have a freaking mine shaft. I want more cobblestone. Just go down there and dig. That's literally all I would need to do. I definitely would like to get some different doors, because, let's face it, these doors are bleh. Actually, I don't need to make any more doors. I got, like, four of them stacked. Oh, yeah, and I also made this a fence gate so that whenever I do finally get villagers up here, they don't go wandering in there and then falling to their death. And I didn't want to put a fence gate there either inside, because I feel as if that would just feel a bit clunky. And if I wanted to go down and there was a villager right there, I didn't want to necessarily push him down. What in the hell am I doing? Come on. Give me the freaking door. Put it right there. Thank you. I kind of breathed into the mic there. Apologies. Apologies. Um, could have probably placed the ladders, but whatever. I'm obviously going to do a lot of renovating. Whenever I finally get, like, some good resources and all that. But, like, I want to make a Blaze XP farm. And, ah, God damn it! I know you can make like a mob grinder, etc., etc. I do maybe want to eventually build one of those a uh, little, little ways from the village, so that it doesn't startle the villagers, so to speak, and all that good stuff. But I want to make a blaze farm for sure because, well, if I get blaze like infinite blaze rods, I have like no fuel. Uh, don't have to worry about fuel ever. 
Granted, if I run to a lava pool underground, I also never run out of lava uh, fuel for cooking either, because I at least got one bucket. And it doesn't consume the bucket since like a certain update, I don't remember which one, but it doesn't consume the bucket anymore for quite some time, obviously, but if it did, then it would have been a problem, but uh, I like the blaze rods because they stack, and I can only, I can like cook only 12, and I'm not wasting any fuel, so to speak, but then again, lava, I could always just go to the nether and find my way down to like a lava sea or something, and I'm lost my train of thought of where I was, why I was actually here. Shit. Oh. Wait, I have a workbench over there. God damn it. Make some more stone, cobblestone half slabs here so I can finish the roof. And then I just need to get some cobblestone, no, not cobblestone, glass. And I need to go make some chests. And I do want to make like some uh, tripwire, oh yeah, schnaz. Okay, we're going to put this right here. Nobody saw that. Okay. <laughs> I do eventually want to make some like uh, tripwire chests because put a large tripwire chest right directly next to a normal chest, so therefore it kind of maximizes your storage capacity, which is something I would really love to do. And I'm obviously going to be doing some research in not too much anytime soon because obviously I want to get a good portion of my village built as well as actually... Uh, getting enough resources to do anything before I upgrade my uh, my uh, storage shed here, or my warehouse. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Warehouse. Until I get enough redstone and copper, what up? Not copper, iron. Until I actually, yeah, get enough of that stuff. And then be able to make all of the required hoppers and or droppers or anything like that that are required for the project because obviously I don't even know how the hell this is going to pan out quite yet and I don't really like floating leaves get them out of here okay I'm thinking probably slap on some windows for now and maybe put some fence posts here I definitely would like to renovate this a little bit, like push this wall back one more, but for now, this will be nice. I just want to slap on some windows, even though right now it is perfectly safe. Actually, for now, I think I'll leave it. It's going to look tacky for now, but at least I got a place to store stuff. I don't really think, yeah, I don't really have too much glass, and I don't feel like going, oh, I do have sand, but I don't really feel like cooking it all up. So actually, uh, for now, I think this will be good enough. I think I will just wrap it up right here because... <laughs> the structure of the building is for now complete. I think I might put the chests in there and organize everything myself later on. Um, don't know when I'm exactly going to make this fully automatic. Because like I said, I'll probably do some looking into it on YouTube, because it's been a while since I've made one, and there's probably more efficient, less costly ways to make an automated item sorting system by now. So uh, I don't have to worry about finding so much flipping iron, and if I don't need so much flipping iron, I will then go ahead and probably just upgrade it in like a couple episodes from now. But otherwise, I actually want to get some other stuff done with this town before I actually touch this building again in regards to renovating. But that, like I said, that's for another time. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you watched both the sessions, that is. Um, when I come back next time, um, I don't know what we'll be doing, but we will be probably adding a new building of some sort. Maybe it'll be the library or the blacksmith. It probably will be the blacksmith because I would like to be able to move the furnaces out of my house next because that would be fantastic. And I think that about wraps it up. So uh, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all next time.